What up, my Taurus Legacies? Welcome back to my channel. Go ahead, please comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get updated on my next video. Okay, so today I wanted to do the day for us. You know, there's been a lot going on with, uh, with Libra and Aries lately. But I haven't done your guys' pop up or general love reading, so I wanted to do that. I already went ahead and meditated on your guys' energy, so let's see. Let's see what the cards have for you. I first see like the three of swords popping up for you guys, the devil, um, also the six of cups, the star, the emperor, the lovers. Let's see. So the Nine of Cups is your current energy with the Three of Cups is your opposing force. You have the Four of Wands. The Ace of Swords. You guys have a lot of uh, cups. You guys have a lot of cups. The page of cups. As you, with the five of swords, is your external forces. Your guy thing is just made a card. With the Four of Cups and the Hierophant as your final outcome. Alright, so my general read so far is the Nine of Cups is I feel like you've definitely let something go as of recently. Like you've definitely dived into self, like you're in, like you're, you're like you're in freedom mode. I feel like you let something go. You detached of something. 
it's almost like you're you're like you're you're glowing from the inside out and here with the three of cups i feel like you definitely had the help of a team like some team effort uh definitely some trio union like maybe your like two of your besties and yourself with the four of wands yeah i really feel like you have like traveled or excelled into something different yeah definitely travel with the ten of wands you can't make this stuff up with the ten of wands with the four of wands yeah you've been through some long journey you definitely traveled i feel like you traveled to explore some new type of creative outlet or i feel like you got out of a small town went more to the city with the ace of swords though this took some time this took some time to like really reflect on like what you should do but i feel like you did get clarity on the situation but you were in your head a lot i feel like you were going back and forth with this decision with the nine of swords king of cups and nine of pentacles i always like to clarify cards in three so this is great with the king of cups the nine of pentacles and the nine of swords Oh, I think this is a card I first see popping up, but I didn't mention. With the Nine of Swords, I feel like you're almost like regretful of something in the past. Like you were loathing, crying on something. But you see how like all the crows on the top are black, but there's like one light. Like regardless of what hard place this was, like you've been holding on to like that silver lining of hope. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like there's lots of options coming in. I almost feel like you let go of a relationship, like you let go of some lover. Because you guys are, I'm hearing you guys were too codependent. But letting that go is bringing in the fruition of several options, several creative options that are creating some type of money for you. And here with the King of Cups, I feel like you're owning who you are. You're coming into a more independent state of being. I also see you more spiritual. Like, you're definitely more aligned with your higher power. Um, I also see you close to a body of water. Again, like, you're gleaming, you're glowing. You have a lot of... Uh, like, you have a really... You have high vibrations, high frequencies. Here with the hangman, like I said, you were really really letting something go towards. Like, you're just falling into self. Okay, yeah. See, here's the six of cups I was telling you was going to pop up for you. Yeah, this person that you let go was someone from the past. Okay, this is someone from your childhood. Someone, maybe your high school sweetheart. This is someone that you were super codependent with. I mean, I don't... This may have... I'm hearing this may... This kind of just like... I feel like it ended not because of differences but because of like codependency i don't really feel like you left on a bad note and yeah with the seven of pentacles when these two card cards pop up together yeah this is someone from ch this is like double clarity this is someone from childhood this is someone that like you were super close with i mean you guys were grounded together i feel like you still got you still have a solid foundation it's almost like i foresee that there might be a union in the future with the queen of cups i feel like you were just like all right you know what like it's like you were like put your hands up higher power like please guide me into where you think is best for me um it's like you're you were you're letting your higher power do what you could like you're turning your life and you're turning your will and your power over to the life of of god as you understand him or your higher power as you understand him yeah and with the queen of pentacles at the bottom with the wheel of fortune <laughs> yeah see the wheels are turning um this is the future so the wheels are turning in your favor uh, this is, I mean, like I said, this was you coming into self, you becoming more uh, in a solitary state of being. You're super more independent. I feel like you're just like, I, I feel like you're coming into a place of like where you're finally able to be comfortable with yourself, Taurus. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, I also, I also hear like a promotion or like you traveled to some other type of work environment where like the, the the divine timing is rolling with you this could be a work promotion this can i mean this is like a celebration this might have happened recently 
this is in the future though so i feel like even though if it happened recently i don't feel like you've uh I, have, I don't feel like you've been able to shine yet and show your capabilities within this new job position. I feel like it's almost like you're like chilling back more so, like you're super observative, you're remaining teachable, um, you, you know, you're, you're like, you have like positive vibes for sure. I feel like you're more so sitting back and just listening, like having active listening, Sh like taking notes for sure. What the Page of Cups says you, yeah, you've definitely ascended into a higher level of yourself. Okay, you definitely love, you definitely have ascended. I also see you. I um, I also see like not only this, but um, like I said, I don't think you ended on a bad note with your previous partner or a previous relationship. Like you guys are still connected. If you see here, there's like two hands that are just like almost invisible, but they're like holding a heart together. I feel like you guys are still connected, like telepathically. Um, you guys maybe still be communicating, like calling or texting each other to like check up on each other. But I feel like you guys, yeah, see? This is what I said was gonna pop up too, was the three of swords with the two of swords. Yeah, there was definitely a division between you guys, Taurus. Um, I, I don't feel like it ended on a bad note. That's not what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is that this was hurtful. It was hurtful to like separate. I'm also hearing that um, some things may have just ended um, abruptly. It's almost like you had to make this impulsive decision because you didn't really have the heart of doing it, uh, like, like speaking it out, right? Um, th I feel like this hurt more so them than you, Taurus. Like, even though you may have not wanted to, like, break their heart, I feel like you did just by, like, not giving them the closure that maybe they were seeking. With Because with the Two of Swords, you really left them blindfolded to the situation. I feel like you, Taurus, believe that, like, if it was meant to be, like you, there will be a union for you guys in the future. But with the Five of Swords, like you're you're confused. Like you're like it's almost like you're going back on the decision. You don't know if you made the right decision. But what I can tell you here with the future is that you did make the right decision. I think you just need to hold your ground. And I think with like divine timing, like things will just clarify on their own. Because with the Queen of Wands, I mean you're coming into with your, yeah, with the Queen of Wands, this is like you really living the best version of yourself. Um, I really see you being very happy. Uh, cats may, have, you may be like close to cats. I do see you like attending some type of meditation with like candles or lit. I mean, you're really holding the glow from your hand. You're like very, you're like really glowing. I don't know if it's because like, it's like, like you got single already to mingle vibes, but I still feel with here with the four of cups that you're still thinking, like you're thinking, you're, I feel like you think about this ending every day, but with the Hierophant, I feel like this is uh, like a higher level of commitment to yourself. Like you're really walking independently it's a higher level of self, like you're coming. I feel like you've always been in relationship tours, but you're, okay, yeah. I told you the devil was gonna pop up, but then with the sun, um, when the devil pops up, this is like an ending of transformation, or yeah, this is an ending to something in the past that was no longer serving you. And here with the sun, it's just like a clarification that like, this is a good, um, these are like a two card duo. Uh, this is definitely an ending of a past toxic relationship or environment that was no longer serving you. And as a result of you letting that go with the Hierophant and making a commitment to yourself and focusing on yourself, uh, like really staying in your own way with the sun. I mean, the sun is the happiest card in the deck and this is in your final outcome. So I feel like you've been given an opportunity by the divine to like make the best of yourself. And with that, you're gonna have happiness. 
I feel like it's been hard for you to have happiness, Taurus, but you are gonna have happiness. Here, let me pull some more cards to clarify for you. Um, let me ask why you, why did? Okay, couldn't even ask the question that popped up. Uh, the world, I was, gonna, I was gonna ask, why did you let go of this person from the past? But here, with you got you got justice, so you have Libra present. You have the world, um, and you have the King of Wands. So I mean, so far you have one, two, three. four, five, six, seven. So you have seven major arcana cards so far. So like you may be seeing seven, 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 or seven may be like a lucky number for you. But with justice here, this I feel like this is justice to some type of like karmic relationship. Um, and with the world, I was asking why you let this person go. You let this person go because you had to come into self. You had to like focus on yourself, be the best version of yourself. You have Leo present here. Um, and with and with that, I mean, justice was served on this on that relationship. And as a result, you're getting the world. So, I mean, you have the world, you have the wheel of fortune and you have the sun. I mean, this is probably like the best tr like trio card spread you could get. Um, so, I mean, you just have, an, like, lots of abundance, longevity, uh, prosperity, just happiness. Like, this is a really good reading for us. Let's see. Let me ask, what was that ending? Yeah. I was going to ask, what is that ending? Or why are you having trouble letting go of this relationship and the reason for that is because you still feel like this person has the key to your heart um you guys are still definitely connected by like some type of lining i can i i like foresee that this will be a union in the future i feel like you guys had to go your separate ways to like focus on yourselves become better versions of yourselves I'm hearing that you guys are so codependent that it's, um, it was almost hard to focus like on school or on work because you were like so worried about what the other person was doing. The judgment, yeah. Here, another major arcana card. With judgment, <clears throat> yeah. With I mean, I feel like the divine gave you an opportunity to ascend to a higher level of yourself and with judgment as a result. Oh, you got the moon on the bottom. <clears throat> yeah so you have like aquarius present uh with judgment green may also be like a significant color for you guys green or blues there's also the the the, the full moon in cancer the other day so i feel like i feel like with the full moon in cancer there was a lot of uh that might have had an effect on you guys whoa yeah i feel like with the moon though like it's been it like hides the qualities of certain things within individuals at times so with that passing i feel like now like a plethora with the sun a plethora of like positive energies like creative outlets for you to shine because there's like positivity like you're glowing from the inside out Taurus. Uh, let's see. Here you guys, and there's these things that the cards under the sea. I feel like the stars are gonna pop up for you guys. Oh, I told you the emperor was gonna pop up too. Uh, yeah, you guys are like. You guys are. You guys are. You guys are like graduating to something. You might have like just graduated, Taurus. Or like you're, like I said again, you were promoted to a higher level within like the, the company you work for with the four of pentacles, yeah. As a result, I feel like you definitely got an increase of financial uh, assets. What was gonna flip over? Spirit guides, angels, just give me the cards that I need to see. 
this thing is a star. So we got the five of cups, the two of cups, and the four of swords. Yeah, like I was telling you from the beginning, uh, you guys will be reunited again, Taurus, in the future. Um, with the five of cups, it's like the five of cups is like crying over spilled milk. It's like you're like, you're, you're like you're doubting if you right, you made the right decision. And with the four of swords. I mean, this took some truth. This took some courage for you to do. But I do see union for you again in the future with the Two of Cups. Excuse me. Three of Wands. Let me get one more card. So you got Libra, you got Libra present twice with the Justice and Empress. This may have been with the Libra and Air Element, but I was also getting Aquarius, maybe Gemini. I was picking up Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for this person. Um, with the Empress, I feel like, I feel like this is definitely a rebirth with the world, the sun, and the wheel of fortune. This was just part of like your, I feel like you made a complete cycle within your life. Like you may be coming into like your later 20s, like 26, 27, 28. Um, it's like you completed a full like life cycle. Like you gave a rebirth to like your inner child. Like you're nurturing your inner child. You definitely have leveled up. You've bossed up towards. Uh, with, the, with that being said, um, I'll go ahead and end your reading. I'm gonna go ahead and do a three card spread with Moonology real quick. I'm gonna do past, present, and future for you guys. Let's see what happens. I feel like the full moon in Cancer is gonna pop up. Uh, hold on. There's like cards mixed up here. Spirit guys, angels, just give me the pass for a Taurus. Just give me the pass. So we have a new start is coming. Yeah, so there was an ending to something because a new start is coming. This is the full moon, the new moon, I'm sorry. Spirit guys, angels, just give me the cards I need to see. Yeah, I was telling you guys are emotional with the present. Emotions are running high. Future. The blue moon. Believe in the impossible. Yeah, so you, like I was mentioning, you guys are having some type of self-doubt. Uh, don't doubt yourself, Taurus, because... I mean, you have all the moons on your side. You got the super moon, you got the new moon, you got the blue moon. Let me pull one more card. New moon and Scorpio. Work through your fears. Work through your fears, Taurus. All right, with that being said, I'll go ahead and end your reading. Please go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get updated on my next video. And thank you. Thank you, Taurus Legacies. Uh, go ahead and don't forget to live your best legacy.